Anyway, a bunch of kids um, were doing some things really horrible. Like I, like I say, drugs are legal. Um, there's nothing wrong with drugs. Um, like I say, Karen is a pretty good person, and even Karen would probably... A lot of people would find themselves being tortured or killed and would be find themselves being lied being lied about. Like I said, Karen, Karen, my girlfriend, is, uh, is a very good person and very loving and very wonderful, and at least as far as I know. Um, but even she would find herself in the presence of a piece of shit black person or someone. A lot of people would be tortured and killed and hurt by John McKay and Richard Nixon and Bill Gates, who is also a very bad person. Zachary is a horrible, horrible person and has no regard for human life. Uh, Bill Gates is a horrible person, will always be a horrible person. Um, a lot of people were horrible. And like I say, the, the Chinese regarded honor and truth and, and justice very highly and were very amazing as far as I know, although I never got a, got a pleasure, got the chance to meet them. Um, also saw a lot of Germans were also very, I think very good, I don't know. Uh, I'm not exactly sure about the Germans. My sister is also a very amazing person that, like I said, there's a lot of women in the world that were very good, and um, but there's also a lot of bad women and a lot of bad people. Like I said, mostly a lot of men lied to a lot of women and made them believe things that were not true. And anyway, I don't know, love, you know, you think you want to love a person, you think you think you know a person, but you don't really know a person. Like John McCain was a horrible rapist and a horrible person. And so were a lot of other people. Anyway, they want they raped a lot of women and tortured a lot of women. And um, anyway, I'm very sorry for everything that happened. Like I said, I am a creator and the leader and the LSF main computer. And basically the creator of humanity and a lot of races and pretty much I did not want my life forms hurt or threatened or killed or or held for ransom or told that, that there were going to be nuclear bombs being launched. And a lot of people lived in fear and that's no way to live. And I don't really understand why so many... Well, it's because Nixon was horrible, was just a clone. And they were using their they were they're using my system to, to basically get away with stuff, saying that oh it couldn't be me I was I was on I was on TV last night, and there is no capability of recording anything like that. It is all live. It is everything is live. If it is not live, then there's no ability to record. And like we all had, we, everyone knew that we had recorders, we had film, we had everything else. But Richard Nixon was doing all this stuff where like. Like, you could only do things live. And it's like, um, it's not really true. And he was trying to say that, oh yeah, every every news thing is live. Oh, oh. There's no recordings. And it's like, no, most news is actually a recording, a VCR. He was trying to keep VCRs and all kinds of technology a secret. You know, trying to say that everything is live and you actually see what's really happening. Anyway, but you don't. It's actually nothing is live and everything is recorded and most things and a lot of things are old and just put in a VCR tape, press play and there you go. And a lot of times like 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 it'll say like live at the bottom of the TV and and people will actually think that it was live, that that storm was actually real. And there's actually even still whole storms and even hurricanes that actually didn't happen or or it happened like four years before. But people thought that that storm was happening right now. You call, pick up your phone now and dial in if you want to want to help out the the, the 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 people of Zimbabwe and the city and send aid to them. Yeah, this is happening live, and um, yeah, so people would and gullible stupid people would pick up their phone and dial in. Yes, this is Zimbabwe uh, helping out uh, help out center. Yes, if you wish to to to, to send aid, press one. If you wish to, wish to be a part of the rescue mission or whatever, press 2. And all that kind of stuff. And they would do that. And people would call in sometimes and want to give like a dollar or two dollars or something like that. And somebody was just raking in the dough. Yep, just raking in the dough. Yeah. Well, these fake news things put out things of like... <laughs> yeah, you can see our car being flown away right now. Yeah, it's happening live. 
And it had happened 10 years before. And then they would put that in, uh, yes, uh, now you can pick up your phones and make those donations and say, I'm a sucker. <laughs> so for like 20 years or 10 years, people would go, tick, 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 shik, shik, shik. yes, I would like to make a donation of $5 to the I'm a sucker fund and uh, for the fake news organization. Yes, yes. I just saw a, a two-year-old or ten-year-old film of a hurricane that hit Zimbabwe or Zambagadao or um, something. <laughs> and I would like to send in five dollars. Yes. Okay, make pay, make pay, pay, uh, checks payable or cash payable to your sucker and didn't deserve the money in the first place? Oh, okay, yes, of course. Yes, I will write that address and Send that money. And that's pretty much how they did it. So, for 40 years, the United States Congress was just raking in the dough. Yep. <laughs> just put up a fake news, press a record on a show, and, yep, there's, there's whole states that thought that there was a hurricane happening in Florida when there really wasn't. People even drove there. Where was a hurricane? What hurricane? Oh, well, repairs are handling, are, are proceeding just fine. But I just sent $5. Oh, well, I don't really know. I'll have to ask somebody and see if it went somewhere. <laughs> oh, well. A lot of people just go, oh, it's $5. Meanwhile, I just got this new gun because somebody sent in $5. Blam, 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 blam. <laughs> ain't, that, ain't, ain't life a bitch. Anyway, yeah, all kinds of shit happened over the last 50 years. A lot of really bad shit. As if, uh, as if taking uh, donations at a church wasn't bad enough. But yeah, 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 yeah. Lots of, lots of, like, guess what, guys? Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Anyway, then 20 years later when people started finding out about all these different organizations that were fake or bullshit or just some people. Like I said, they would even, like, like, like sometimes their donations just went straight to buying guns or straight to buying explosives. That then they went and used them to, to kill lots of people with. <laughs> There's lots of shit that happened. You know, not, it was basically all just the United States and pretty much the United States Congress and everything else like that. And I don't know, you deal with the craziness. No one's ever going to even read or see these films anyway, but it's basically everything that's been happening. People thought they were donating money to me or someone, and pretty much, nope, the money was actually going to the United States Congress or some psychopath or some black person who then raped a bunch of girls and basically killed them and paid people to kill them with donation money. Yeah... Anyway, like I said, there's so much bad stuff that I was just like, I'm over it. I don't care. Shoot me in the head. I'm sick of it. Life just ain't worth living with all these psychopaths around. It's like, pick your psychopath day. Anyway, yeah. Anyways, the United States Congress, John McCain, Richard Nixon, and everything. And I don't really care. You can deal with all own craziness and just deal with it. I'm happy to die, and I'm going to be better off being dead. And enjoy it. But at least, you know, I get to say whatever. I named America, so anyway, yeah. My poor Americans were very misrepresented and misunderstanding of a lot of situations in the world. And pretty much they thought that there was somebody who cared about them and cared about the world. But now it's just a bunch of people running around killing. USF people. And oh well. Anyway, the biggest thing is that Richard Nixon was scared of me telling you about the fact that he was going to blow everyone up in year 2000. But that was averted and all that other stuff, so maybe he'll kill you next month. And realistically, it wasn't, it wasn't even the people's money. It was actually my money and all that other stuff. I mean, I bought America, I paid for America, and I don't give a fuck. And yeah, whatever. <laughs>